First off, you're going to want to start off with a USD file. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to drop down a file node in Houdini, delete the file, and do USD import. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, I'm going to unpack the geometry, and I'm going to make the geometry type polygons. And the file I'm going to select is military radio hard surface. I've made a few other tutorials where I export this model from Blender to USD and also where you export it from USD to Unreal Engine and Houdini so I'll link those videos as well but this file is from Blender I exported first what you notice is it is crooked so you're going to want to drop down a transform negative 90 to fix that and then just for testing purposes, I'm going to delete the floor. We're going to do a blast. Keep this on primitives. And select the floor there. Enter to accept. Now that's, now that's deleted. And what we're going to do is we're going to type down a USD export. With that USD export, I'm just going to go to my projects folder, USD, and I've already cached this out, but I'll do it again. It's just military radio hard surface, no floor. Uh, make sure, save to disk. To test if that worked, you can drop down another USD import. This one will be military radio hard surface, no floor. And you can see, this is the other USD, and this is the new one. So now we've got that U we've got both USDs to play with, and now we know how to export a USD from Houdini. You can export anything from Houdini as a USD. Uh, you can select a frame range for animation. Uh, there are some like fluids and uh, particles and stuff like that you can export as well. So now we're in Unreal Engine 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Window. We're going to go up to USD stage, we're going to do file, open, we're going to go to our military radio, USD, hard surface, no floor, wait for that to load. So now the file is imported at a scale of one meter per unit, which seems fine. Now you can see you've got your USD file, it's all broken up into the same pieces that was exported as in uh, Houdini. And yeah, we're good to go. These are all uh, USD files. So you can make changes, uh, reload the scene, and that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for my next episode.